Hey guys, so I'm back with another makeup tutorial. I know it's been forever since I haven't done a makeup tutorial, so yeah. Um, and actually this time I included my foundation, um, concealer, contour routine that I usually do for my makeup. And so yay, I got a request for that, so I included that in there. And basically this look, um, I'm actually going off of my Peacock earrings which I love, my big peacock earrings. I, pro I think I've worn this in a video before. So, um, this look was inspired by these earrings. So I guess it's peacock inspired, right? Um, and yeah, so if you wanna know how I got this look, let me get closer so you can see. Pardon the breakout, I know. But if you wanna know how I cut, came up with this look, got this look, did this look, all that good stuff, stay tuned and it's coming up. Oh, um. I am going to do makeup from here on, okay? So basically, I did my eyebrows, and everybody, people were asking me to see, to show them um, my foundation routine, so I'm including that in here, which is why I don't have any foundation on, okay? So I did my eyebrows already, and to start, of course, you're going to prime your eye, and I'm using today my e.l.f. Um, primer, okay? Basically, I just put it all over, and then I get my finger and I rub it in. And then I'm going to use a base of um, Milk Jumbo Pencil, and I'm just going to get that, and I'm going to go all the way up, okay? Well, not all the way up, but semi all the way up and what I do is I just get my finger and I blend that out like I did my um what you call it the base the um primer like I said it doesn't have to be neat or anything okay okay so basically this makeup look I'm trying to go off of my peacock earrings which I'm wearing today to the meetup and so here they are so you can see the colors in them and I'm going to be using um, some colors from Glamour Doll and um, Make Me Over Cosmetics okay so let me do one eye and I'll come back with the other okay so here's the look that I'm going for right all right so let me do the other I'll show you how I do it so basically, we primed, we based with milk, okay? And the first thing we're going to do, we're taking a flat brush. Like, so this is a um, C152 from Crown Brush. And we're going to go into um, Immature by Glamadol Eyes. Here's the cap. Focus. Focus. Okay, anyways, it's called Immature. And here's the color here. There we go. Right? And I'm going to take that over two thirds of my eye. Okay? So you're going to just get that on your flat brush, tap off some of the extra. And I'm just going to get it and I'm going to go from the inner corner two thirds out. And what I'm doing, I'm bringing it up past my natural crease just because that's how I like my um, eyeshadow. Um, because I feel as if I have a big area between here so I just like my eyeshadow to not just stay on my lid because my lids are very small and to me it doesn't put that much of an impact when I do just my lids right so just take that there okay all right and then next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get another flat brush Here's this one, my favorite one from Crown Brush, and it's a C157. And I am actually going to go into um, Mingles. And here is the cap. Focus, focus. Okay, not focusing. So it's Mingles, and it is a very super royal blue. Right, and it is a chunky pigment. So when I use these kind of colors, I don't do my foundation first just because there is a lot of fallout with them, okay? So I'm just gonna dip my brush into it, get it on my brush pretty well, and I'm just gonna literally 
pack it on. Like no, no, um, what do you call it? No blending or kind of sweeping on because when you do that with this, the more you blend, the more it comes out to a darker blue, right? And you want to have that royal blue there, okay? So basically, I'm just going to get it and I'm going to put it on my eye following the shape of the um, immature, okay? And then over that, I'm going to just use the other side of my brush and I'm just going to go over it with um, Space Pearl. And this is an NYX pigment. There we go. Focus. Yeah. So I'm just going to dip my brush in there. And I, I keep saying, every time I use these, I keep saying I need to deep pot these, but one day I will. Um, and I'm just going to go over the mingles with this. And this color is what I'm going to use to blend, just because it, it blends a lot easier than the mingles. For some reason, the mingles is not a friendly blender. So I'm just going to go over, um, kind of brush over, right? And I'm going to take my immature brush, so I have my immature on it. I'm just going to take that, I'm going to sweep into the mingles and kind of make it not so much of a harsh line between the two, okay? <clears throat> and then for my inner corner, and the reason why I did it like that is because um, I don't, I didn't know how much of a gradient effect I wanted on the immature before I did it, so I do the inner corner last. And basically I'm using Apple Martini. Here's the cap, and it's not gonna focus. Anyways, here's the color. It is a very light green, kind of sea foamy um, shimmer. It is a shimmer, so if you're not into shimmers, yeah, sorry. I'm just going to get it, and I'm using a C136 six brush from Crown, and it's a um, semi-flat, um, small, a little bit rounded. I'm just going to take that in my inner corner. I'm just going to brush it up, right? I'm going to do it to where it blends, right, but it's not, but I don't want the harsh dividing line, I don't know if you can, it's, it looks harsh to me, so what I'm going to do is go with my mingle, my um, immature, get a little bit on it, and just take that right there on the line, just to make it not so harsh, right, okay. So, there we go. And then I'm going to take my highlight. <clears throat> I'm using New Pearl. And here's what it looks like. Um, it's one of my favorite highlights. And it is shimmer. All the pearl from, all the, the pearl collection from NYX is all shimmer. Okay. So basically, just getting that on a, <clears throat> a um, C208 brush from Crown Brushes. Right. And I'm just going to kind of blow off some of the excess. I'm just going to put that right there underneath my eyebrow. Bring it down. Okay. Okay, so it's there. So now for the fun part, which is the blending. And I am taking a um, <clears throat> S225. Again, crown brushes. As you can tell, I like crown brushes. And it's a fluffy domed um, blush the brush and it's really soft okay so basically I'm just going to take that and I'm going right <clears throat> between the color and the highlight and I'm just going to kind of soften that up kind of blend that in with the highlight and I'm going windshield wipers right and just kind of making everything kind of blend here's a look and I'm just going to go over the corner it's a little bit of makeup remover, and the kind I use is the Walmart, oh, not Walmart brand, Equate brand makeup um, remover. I'm just going to take a cotton ball thing, and I'm just going to go right in the corner and bring it up. So, you don't have to use tape if you don't have your foundation on. You can always just clean it up with makeup remover you don't have to use tape, alright? Which, hey, I'm all for tape, don't get me wrong. But you can always fix it if 
you go back too too much right <clears throat> okay and for underneath your eye I've noticed that when I do um, underneath my eye it always helps if I um, put some milk or whatever base I'm using so I do have um, milk underneath my eye and I'm just gonna go in the inner corner with the apple martini same brush and then in the middle uh, <coughs> Just gonna get some immature right in the middle. Okay. And then at the edge, I'm going with Space Pearl. Right at the edge. Okay. And then just to um, kind of darken up the corner a little bit. I'm, ah, and it broke. <laughs> I'm using my. Um, this is the, what is it? This is the I09A palette from uh, Make Me Over Cosmetics. And I'm going to take um, the shimmery black hair. I'm just going to use, um, this is one of my favorite crease brushes. It's a Mary Kay crease brush. And here's what it looks like. And I'm just going to go straight in the color, just right on the tip. Literally, just kind of not a lot on there and I'm just going to go right where my natural crease is and just like I'm barely touching and just get that right there okay so like I'm barely touching so I don't want super dark type thing because this is a fun look for me okay so um basically that's the eyes so of course I'm going to line my eye my eyes and I'm gonna line them and I'm gonna put on some falsies and I'll be right back <laughs> 